But first, remembering Dallas police officer Rogelio Santander, the continuing tributes and when the fallen hero will be laid to rest. Well, good morning. We're glad you're with us. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Karen Borda. Overnight, the body of Officer Rogelio Santander was taken from the Dallas hospital where he died to the medical examiner's office. At least 100 officers lined the streets to take part in the dignified transfer. Last night, hundreds of candles were lit in honor of the fallen officer. CBS 11's Jennifer Lingren is live at the Northeast Patrol Division in Dallas, where a memorial continues to grow for Officer Santander. Jim. Russ, about an hour ago, Dallas police officers escorted some of the family members of the fallen officer out to the memorial this morning so they could take a moment and see in person the outpouring of support for Officer Rogelio Santander. We've watched all morning long as people continue to stop by here and pay respects in their own ways. This memorial really started to take shape after the vigil last night, where fellow officers at the Northeast Division who worked with Rogelio Santander shared stories about his love for the job right up until the end. Today, people are leaving flowers, cards, badges, and balloons, but one memento won't be left outside at the memorial. Mark Erland and Naya Callen dropped off three handmade crosses for Officer Santander. Officer Crystal Almeida and Home Depot employee Scott Painter. Mark makes these for families who lose loved ones, something hopeful for them to hold on to. You get used to it, but it's, it's never uh, never something to look forward to or anything. You know, it's more of a, yeah, it's just it's something we feel like we need to do, but it, it is tough. You know, we don't even know this this guy that passed away, this officer, and it's it's heartbreaking. The funeral service is already set for Officer Santander. It is scheduled for Tuesday at 11 a.m. at Lake Point Church in Rockwall. Live in Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. Jen, thank you very much. Dallas Police Officer Crystal Almeida and Home Depot employee Scott Painter, who were also shot Tuesday, remain hospitalized. At last check, both were improving.